Hey Aquarius, let's get it. So I was just checking to make sure this is on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. That should be better now. Okay, so whew, I actually started this reading at 714 and then I went to split the deck and look what came out. Temperance, okay? And and the Queen of Wands is I'm holding her um, upside down. So I feel, yeah, I feel there's surrender on worthiness is definitely coming through. All right, guys. Um, but we just put up a light language activation uh, for you to surrender uh, intimacy. So I wanted to read to you from the surrender um, to intimacy, uh, fear of intimacy card so that you can even get a more deeper understanding for what the activation is helping you to do. And it is, you are ready to let love in, compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Okay, so that's also another thing. The Pleiades are definitely like super strong today, especially in my readings and in my channelings. All right, so you might hear my voice kind of change a bit. Um, and that's just when I start to, uh, to channel uh, the Pleiades, okay? Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they speak it's very it's like it's different you'll hear it anyway so opening your heart okay opening your heart releasing the patterns that are stopping you from fully opening your heart remember what we said that you know for you to activate your mission for you to get this wish fulfillment right of having happiness and always happiness in the home in relationships happiness within self within um you know between you and your family uh, you and your job and having this balanced energy you have to take the opportunity to open your heart okay and so what spirit is, is coming through to say there is a cup that is being offered to you and this cup is actually um it's, it's coming from your soul to connect deeper to your soul and to allow yourself to to believe in the uh the impossible okay so there's been this this uh theme going around lately i i am possible and impossible literally says i'm possible right so where in your in your life have you been saying that that's not possible for me okay because that is how you've been blocking this blessing this financial blessing if you um are not thinking big enough right you know like that can't happen for me yes it can if something has come to you right if something has come to you and um um, you were like your heart just fully open to it and you're like yes let's do this but now you're like in this this thing of like doubting yourself and doubting if this is for you is this my path um or not for you but is this for me is this my path um you know is is this the way that i should be going is is my I, my heart is not open so am i really following the right thing you know these kinds of like com there's this energy of combating back and forth between like uh something with a, a financial opportunity and something that will help you open to a greater sense of love and what spirit says is that you have to come outside of the box into a higher perspective all right and this means that you have to face your fears and in facing your fears not only are you able to receive this opportunity right this offer of love from spirit that is happening right now but then you also go into this energy see how they just had me like switch right now the energy is flowing because you are facing your fears you are facing your fears judgment is coming in so um the vision that i had right before uh i sat down to do the reading was uh the mouse so in some decks the um the eight or the the eleven the strength card okay is a mouse with a crown on it and um so they showed me this mouse and it's like so you're a king you're crowned but you're but you're a mouse so you're not like fully in your power but also there's this energy of you not looking like you are powerful like people would have no idea the things that you are capable um, with your mind with your heart like they have no idea how psychic you are they have no idea how clear cognizant you are they have no idea how much of a damn you know powerful healer or artist you know musician or singer or any of these things that you truly are because you you're still shedding right you're still shedding parts of the the projection that was put on you especially from childhood is what I'm, I'm feeling over here I'm feeling a lot of this again fear of intimacy fear of opening your heart um 
uh, not just childhood, but I'm, I'm seeing and hearing adolescence as well of uh, fear of rejection. You know, when you want it to give, 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 but you oh, it just got rejected, you got rejected. And that was that wounding of like over giving and just giving to receive love and not really um, putting a sincere uh, high intention beyond, behind the giving and also giving with non-attachment like here, you know, and um believing in this reciprocal this return on investment but not um only doing something because of return on investment that's where the the heart comes in the opportunity to truly open this heart this this cup of love all right and that comes in through um uh, this the self love work okay and doing the self healing work the self care work you seeding joy within your life um you balancing out what you give and and um and also you allow yourself to receive okay remember we are in the sign of cancer right now the sign of the the moon the mother of the moon right so this energy of um has to be balanced out with uh the mother of earth okay and so working together with like isis and Kuan Yin energy to work with the goddesses of the earth so that you guys can truly balance out your energy and and um don't feel guilty for receiving you know and also don't have regret around asking for what you truly want or what you truly need you know so again it comes back to i i'm possible but this energy of anything is possible for me and if it came to me then it is something for me to to follow there's a curiosity coming in right so in the vision the mouse was like i, I couldn't tell it's like is the mouse dragging the the lion and you know like come here you know like the kind of mortal combat energy and uh i saw clearly and it was darkness it was a shadow the mouse is dragging the shadow around the shadow is like no more like can you just let me go can, can you just let me go because I'm I'm exhausted I am exhausted you have one you have one all right so now this is this energy and I forget what reading it was um but it was the energy of you've won you've made it right so it's like looking around the battlefield and seeing there is no battle looking to the back of you and seeing there's no one chasing you you know looking around and no one is coming after you the energy has dissipated it's disappeared and the only thing that is keeping it alive is your belief in fear okay yeah so now it's time to come to the death of that all right and there's this energy of um i am going to shuffle one more time look look at that yeah this energy there's that worthiness right there's this energy of you claiming back your your worth i am worthy i am worthy i am worthy and deserving of receiving love and abundance and always in all forms not yesterday not next week but now and open to receive it open allow yourself to fly free okay so there goes that higher perspective coming in some of you guys need to work with eagle condor okay um if you're familiar with the moon of key rights then you know go ahead do your meditations guys and 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 call go on that journey with the eagle condor if you're not familiar with um like shamanism or moon of key rights or any of that that's okay call in the eagle and you can say this you know you go into meditation and you say i allow myself to be fully engulfed and the unconditional love of the ego all right and then open and receive that receive that and allow yourself to walk in the power the knowledge the strength the wisdom of the ego of spirit okay allowing you to come into a higher level of inspiration but also so that you can learn how to super connect into mother earth and bring that energy up and in all right it's like lock and key boom boom i'm locked in all right, I'm grounded. You know, one of, oh, I love it. I'm like, there is going to be a day, I, I, and I, I am not going to lie, guys, I haven't reached it yet to where I just feel grounded all the time. I am like, I am doing my affirmations. It is going to happen. I'm going to get to that point to where I am just grounded. I'm grounded. I'm grounded you know and nothing's going to knock that connection off you know what i'm saying because that's where this inner work is coming in this self-love comes in because you allow yourself to kind of flow with the triggers you understand them you learn from them you forgive yourself you forgive all involved and you let it go it turns to wisdom and you become even more powerful even more stronger even more standing in your light even more of your un unconditional um, heart, okay, opening up. So definitely a lot of you guys um, are getting higher uh, light activations uh, with the sacred heart energy. 
I'm working on the us, I realize that, okay, so for those of you that are out there like, when will she just stop doing that? But I channel, I realize something, and maybe this is for you too, but I'm getting, I'm getting downloads, right? So that's my way of stopping to receive, you know, and, and to, and to give it out. So I am consciously aware of that and trying to help myself flow more without saying, um, and, uh, okay. So with that said, here goes this nine of cups. Yes, yes, and yes. And that's this energy. Thank you so very much. That's this energy of you not judging yourself. All right. You not judging yourself and you receiving this very wish fulfillment. So nines are coming in again. All right. And there's you receiving this wish fulfillment of a new beginning in love and this new beginning in love where you are in uh, the energy frequency of I am satisfied. I'm emotionally fulfilled. I am happy. I love my life, you know, and you being so damn because it's just it's this confidence. It's this faith that's growing look at that look at that i love it and it brings in this will of fortune energy it brings in the a completion it brings in the end of something because you decided to take the cup that was being offered to you which is leading you to a new financial um i i just heard okay so this is okay this is what i heard financial obligation but also there's an increase in fortune so obligation means um what i okay yep obligation means is that you guys are either going to be um purchasing something all right and it's going to be it's a wish fulfillment all right so some maybe it's a car maybe it's getting a car fixed or, or whatever but it, it is going to be an obligation it's going to be something that you're going to have to keep up with all right so maybe it's a gym membership uh <laughs> maybe it's a gym membership maybe it's Maybe it is something else. I don't know. All right. It's not coming all the way through to me. And we are, you know, this is a process of accepting yourself where you are, but also opening and expanding to become more of your authentic vibration, which is does not doubt. All right. It just goes with it, it goes with the flow of it. Right. And so, yes, yes. And yes. And um, with that, I have to I have to kind of stop with the arms a bit because it's stopping my connection. So, all right. Thank you. Eight of Wands. Definitely something coming in. And this has been coming in. And Spirit said there's going to be two downloads, all right? Two downloads. I received my two downloads. So you guys are going to be having two downloads that are going to come into you. And it's going to be something for you to take action on, all right? It's going to be something with this wish fulfillment. Because remember, faith without works is what? Dead. Okay? Understand it. Yeah. Yes. Get it. All right. I'm also seeing the energy of the rabbit come through. So it's um, that, and the rabbits are really in my Osara tarot deck a lot. And so it's the Osara tarot deck uh, is a celebration of the spring equinox. All right. So maybe some of you are getting an equinox, a Chevrolet, or also um, this is just a new beginning for you guys. All right. And uh, in some way, shape or form. And remember what we said, you know, new beginnings happen happens every day. You have an opportunity to uh, come into greater uh, magic, greater love every single day. You know, so that's also the realization i think that you're you're getting and you're you're accepting it you know it's how you see it it's how you see it and if you see it um you know like nothing's ever going to work out for me look yeah imagine cells this activation deck um it is the empath activation cards so it's how you see it and there's a 27 so coming into balance and coming into union with self right but this is also this energy of the high priestess as well Mm hmm. I love that. Yeah, I love that so much. And it's you recognizing that you are you are one in the same with spirit and you following your truth. That number seven. OK, representing truth, representing. Um, I also feel imagination coming in. I just heard that. Maybe it's because it says imaginal cells, but it's like you you have you can seed your cells with your truth but if you choose to seed your cells, your body, your light body, your physical body, mental body, emotional body with fear then you're just you're you're in the tower you're running on illusion all right because you're running on you're running on fear and and you're dragging your shadow around with you as if like your shadow is like i let me go i can go into another dimension another realm i'm good okay i'll be over there and when you need some something to to a, a light enlighten you you know what i mean like if you if you really need me to bring you through something i'll be here but just let me go let me go, you know. So is this energy of uh, coming into full surrender, the energy of the 12. 
okay which is also piscean energy but it's also a uh, magician energy and high priestess as well 35 yes divine blueprint okay yeah I'm sorry, I get so excited. You know why? Because this is you activating like to a deeper level of yourself. And this is exactly what Spirit was channeling through. And Spirit is saying to me, it is, it is time. So you, there's this energy of the twos again coming in and saying, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to let go of fear. I'm ready to stop dragging it around with me reluctantly because I feel like uh, if I keep this, I'll be safe. If I if I know what to fear, then I will be I will be safe and protected. So that way, um, when it comes around, I'll recognize that I have to fear it. No, that's like that's that's that it's a, it's a no. You no no. You innately know what is for you, what's not for you, but you have to trust the instinct. All right, and then we got number five, energetic center of gravity. Now with this one coming in, um, oh, okay, yeah, don't worry about it. Ooh, acceptance. So lots of change is gonna come in from here. <sighs> oh, okay. So what I'm seeing from this, I'm gonna have to interpret it. So it's like a, an older man. It's like you know how the um, ice cream people used to look back in the day, and they had like they used to wear the outfits and stuff. And he's giving um, the child, it's a cone, and it has three scoops of ice cream. Uh, the first scoop of ice cream, I can taste it. Hold on. It's stra Oh, it's strawberry. Oh, wow. It has real strawberries in it, guys. Okay. Mm, the next one, I'm feeling, I'm hearing mint chocolate chip, but I'm, oh, guys, I'm allergic. Okay, it's pistachio. So something with nuts, and I did see pistachio nuts. And then what's the last, oh, I like that. That's vanilla. Okay, so we have pink and then we have like a mint pistachio green. Okay, and then we have a white. So with this energy, pink for compassion, the strawberries. And actually, I was just prompted to buy three packs of strawberries, which, guys, strawberries actually is um, helps you, a, a form of antidepressant because it has um, beautiful chemicals in there that actually help you to uh, make serotonin, okay, um, and oxytocin. So it's it's really, it's beautiful because it like kind of clears you and then it helps you to be more uh, closer to self. So like, uh, you know, doing hand massages and also, you know, saying I love you, you know, so this is this energy of, you know, making a strawberry smoothie uh, and, and then going and putting on your candle, getting your shea butter out, you know, and then doing your nice little self. I love my body. I love, you know, who I am massage. All right. So all of this is activating. All right. And all of this energy, all of these nardies in here. All right. It's all active and it's showing yourself love appreciation and gratitude all right so that that's one that's one level of it right and then the second level of it with the nuts in the uh, the mint green this is the energy of mintaka the words of mintaka where you can go into this waters and and you come out completely whole complete and healed okay healed so for those of you that can eat pistachios there's medicine in that for you go ahead and look up like you know spiritual meaning magical meaning nutrition meaning of pistachios and if you you can again all right all of this stuff it's like if you're not allergic and everything like that you know go ahead and do it if not uh if if you can't do pistachio, still just do the research and to see why this is coming up. If you resonate with it, okay? If you resonate with that. Yes, yes, and yes. And I did say mint chocolate chip, so maybe there are some people that are allergic to pistachios and you need to do the mint chocolate chip cookie crumble. Oh, that's so funny. I love that. I lo okay, somebody, somebody's coming through. Somebody is Sesame Street. Uh, who is it? Cookie Monster. Yay. Okay, so somebody likes cookies out there. I love them too, guys. I do. I love them too. So, hold on. Let me get to this one. Wow. Okay, yeah. And then with the vanilla. So, vanilla candles. So, eating the strawberries, you know, having some nuts uh, by you, pistachio nuts or, you know, or mint chocolate chip ice cream or, or what have you, okay? Um, there's something with the mint. So, there's also with that is telling me that now mint is like 
uh, mint and spearmint. They're two different things, and um, like peppermint and spearmint, okay? And so, but there's this energy of cleansing, of freshness, of purity, okay? Upliftment, revitalization. So this is also why this is important. And if you, some of you guys, if you guys can do strawberries every day, yeah, you know, add it to your smoothies or just eat them regular. You know, find fun and inventive ways to nourish yourself, um, you know, uh, not just with your breathing and with music and things like this but also with your food you know okay so um you're being handed that and this is nourishment for your inner child i'm hearing okay yeah and so i think some of you guys might really like the smell of vanilla bean or you'd work with vanilla bean in some kind of way like oils or something like this um or your inner child just really likes vanilla ice cream or maybe your kids do or something like that is coming through all right yeah yeah, I'm hearing mommy, mommy, mommy. So one of your this that's favorite ice cream of one of your kids. Yeah, and we just got a clearing um, solar plexus. Yeah, flexibility. And this, you know what? This came out, and I it was on the bottom. I was like, oh, isn't that interesting? And so it came out, and there's a tiger and. Um, the white tiger is for Kuan Yin, but I still, when I see a tiger, I always think of Kuan Yin anyway. All right, there might be another um, person, you know, that you might uh, attribute it to this energy, okay? But it's like this courage coming through. Yeah, and definitely Bare Necessities. Um, what's the one song that's coming through? Uh, Mobley is coming through, but there's this energy of... Um, now I'm hearing Will Smith. You got it's like taking it back. Yeah, so this is what you guys are going through too. It's like you're returning to the courage of like your inner child where um but you're still but you're having this wisdom with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like that yeah, duh, right there. It says it right there, enlightenment. I'm sorry guys. Sometimes I don't even look at the card, I'm just yeah. Um yeah, this is beautiful too. With the boat right there, can you see that? I hope you can see that. My thing is, I just noticed it was a little fuzzy. So I hope I hope this is clear. Yep. Yes. And what does it bring you? Freedom. Okay. Yeah. Nope. No. What does he say? Um, I'm a peacock. I, I you gotta let me fly. <laughs> I love that movie. It's hilarious. Um, I can't remember what is it? I think it's the other guys. It's the other guys if you want to watch that. It's so funny. It's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, and that the joke is because peacocks don't fly. So yeah. But peacocks is also a symbol of awakening. So this is also uh in you know, enlightenment, awakening, freedom. Awakening to freedom, a new sense of freedom. Oh, powerful guys. All right, we're gonna do one last card, and this is from the um I, oh, these are the Sacred Destiny cards. Yeah. And um, Oracle. There, look. Look at that. Peppermint. Trigger statement. Okay, this is to inspire. And so this is going to connect you even more into spirit. And it says, trigger statement. I am stuck. The true statement is, I am fulfilled with possibilities. I am filled with possibilities. Allow yourself to float up above any thoughts or emotions and see what is needed for you to process them and move forward. <laughs> Those ladies that, that like to read. Okay. Um, something with respiratory is coming in. I feel like that's, that's something for somebody. Breath, breathing. Somebody's father is having trouble breathing right now. Um, yeah, I, I think you might have emphysema or something like this, and you're having a lot of, um, you gotta, you have to trust, you have to trust in the outcome, and just, and just give love. I feel like you need to read to him, or play, um, old music for him. I'm seeing one of those old, uh, record players, what do you call those things? When the, you know, the real old ones? It will, it will remind him of your mother, all right, and that will bring him a lot of peace. All right, and I'm, I am going to read this. It says, I can't breathe is a trigger statement. And true statement is, I open to all possibility. You are ready to let go of the suffering so that you can take in new possibilities. Release so you can receive. Ah. <sighs> 
Yeah, it's so what's going on with the father or the grandfather is that um, I feel like what's happening or maybe it has happened if, if they have passed or you know they will pass. Um, it's like you're not feeling like living your life anymore because you feel, feel guilty um, or you're holding on to guilt in some way, shape or form. Okay, a lot of you still have this thing of uh, they're not here, so why should I live? Why should I be happy? Type of energy. Take it how it resonates. How it resonates for you. Okay. Mhm. Mm We're gonna pull one more. And we got pedigree, independence. Trigger statement. I am just like my mother, father. Okay. Yeah, that mm -mm, mm -mm. true statement. I am free to choose. Yes, you are. You don't have to choose any of those templates. None of it. Okay. And it says you are ready to break free from the conditioning that has bound you so that you may continue your journey of healing and growth. You are ready to break free of the conditioning that has bound you so that you may continue your journey of healing and growth. I am ready to break free of the conditioning that has bound me so that I may continue my journey of healing and growth. Okay? And this is going to bring independence. All right? So we got breathe, inspire, and independence. All right? Mm hmm. Definitely remind you, spirits remind you guys to stay grounded and connect it it says i am divinely adaptable i'm divinely connected trigger statement what happens next dear soul please remember that you never walk alone okay you never walk alone and whenever anyone is feeling lonely you have to you have to clear you have to release the uh low energy okay and um spending time in mother nature doing lots of walking walking up hills uh definitely helps if you're able to do that physically if you're not able to walk all right you can watch uh people walking all right they have these things on youtube and you can like it's like you can imagine yourself walking remember the physical avatar is not it's not it's not real it's not real you can mold it into anything that you wish and you can heal yourself just by believing and seeing that you are healed and feeling you are healed so by you just watching like one of those things like walking through hawaii or something you know and imagine yourself walking feel yourself walking all right believe me you will be able to um uh reap the benefits of that okay and also and i say all the benefits so all the chemical the brain release okay and also the physical benefits of it um i believe it is joe Dinspienza. if you don't know who that is you should definitely um go ahead and, and uh, research him he has an amazing story how he healed himself with his mind um even i myself i had spinal injuries and things like this and i was able to heal myself as well with my mind so there's it, it can be done but it takes consistent practice okay so if you are one of those people who can't like physically exercise you physically exercising your your mental capacity your imagination all right your your um your subconscious mind you know by watching somebody you know a youtube video of walking you know even exercising i watched people dance and i watched them dance and i got so much joy from it and believe me a year later i was doing those dances all right so it is possible and remember that i'm possible it is possible all is possible through christ all things are possible through christ which strengthens me all things are possible all right so yes thanks guys uh, i am doing personal readings the link will be in the description if you want to book with me if you want a custom light language activation um you know we can do that too i also do uh, energy clearing but it's more of like me teaching you how to clear your energy and also mediumship reading um, where I work with whoever you want to come through and um, we talk you know we, 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 we conversate together right I channel for you but then they also help me with uh, questions that you have so we do tarot reading as well all right guys but um, yeah all right I'll see you in the next one bye